how to hook up a ball valve to above ground swimming pool pump. First thing is, is to Teflon these threads. And if you don't, if you don't know which side to put the, the start with the Teflon, is I'll recommend screwing this on, but loosely then make sure I have a little piece of Teflon. So the Teflon tape must be wrapped over here, so towards the left, and work your way around towards the left again, not the right. If you put the Teflon tape on the right side, it's gonna unravel while you're screwing on. It cannot unravel. Okay, when you put your Teflon tape on, then you wanna hook the ball valve up to here. Then make sure to turn right to tighten. And when you're tightening, make sure the handle is not facing to the on the bottom like this. It can be facing like this way, this way, or that way, but not on the bottom. When it's tightened, and you can use tools, but when you're removing this, this piece is hand tightened only. This you can use a tool, but this no. And when you actually got your ball valve on. It's already tough one. There's two ways you can put it on the discharge. It's the same thing to put it on there. Then you can also do is put the adapter on also. Hose adapter. Teflon. Teflon. <clears throat> the end of the Teflon must be on the left side. Always the left when you tighten it. Because you put on the right side, it's gonna ravel, and you don't want that. So, you do the same thing. And that's how you install a ball valve. To actually remove the ball valve, <coughs> is you do the same thing. Adapter, you remove, you turn left. So, when you put your Teflon tape on left, and as you turn left, you actually remove the ball out like this. You turn left. And that's why you wanna put the Teflon tape on left because if you put it on the right side, it's gonna unravel, then it's gonna leak. Same thing up there. It'll just look like this too. Like that. So that's how you install a ball valve on the above ground swimming pool pump.